Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests. I welcome you all at the Nehru Center. It is an honor and pleasure to be here today to inaugurate the Odyssey dance recital of Madhulita Mohapatra and her fellow artists. As we all know, Odyssey is the major ancient Indian classical dance and originated in the Hindu temples of Odisha in Eastern India. Odyssey dance was initially performed in the temple of Lord Jagannath in the Odisha as form of worship and meditation. Odyssey is recognized as one of the eight classical dance forms of India and celebrated around the world for it, its lyricism, sensuality and emphasis on bhakti bhava or attitude of devotion and surrender. Earlier, Odyssey was performed primarily by women, but nowadays it is also performed by men. Religious stories and spiritual ideas, particularly of Vaishnavism and other traditions, such as related to Hindu gods Shiva and Surya, as well as Hindu goddesses are expressed in different forms of Odyssey. Odyssey is highly inspired, passionate, enthusiastic, and luscious. Now let me introduce our today's performer, Madhulita Mahapatra. She is a great artist of national doordarshan, impaneled artist of Indian Council for Cultural Relations, and recipient of prestigious Ustad Bismillah Khan Juwa Puraskar for Odyssey Dance by Sangeet Natak Academy, and many more. Need not to mention she is counted among the leading Odyssey dancers of the recent younger generation teaching as guest faculty of Riva University master's level dance course. She is the artistic director of Nrityanta Dance Institute, where she is teaching and nurturing the finest talents. With this, I conclude my address. I would like to thank all of you present here for making time to be with us. I hope you all have a wonderful evening ahead. I thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So we will start with our first performance, Sri Jagannath Ashtakam. This is an invocatory piece based on the verses from the popular Jagannath Ashtakam. Jagannath Swami, who is like a bumblebee, tasting the beautiful lotus-like faces of the beautiful gopis of Vrindavan as he plays his flute in the grooves on the banks of river Yamuna, who resides in the palace on the golden Nilachala hill on the shore of the great sea with his brother Balhad Balbhadra and sister Subhadra in the middle of them and his lotus feet are worshipped by all gods Lakshmi, Shiva, Brahma, Indra and Ganesh. May that Jagannath Swami be the object of my vision. The rag is in Charukeshi, Tal Ek Tali. Music composition is done by Sri Rajesh Lingaji. Rhythm composition is by Sri uh, Shobhagya Narayanji. Dance choreography is by Madhulita Mahapatra. Presenting Jagannath Ashtakam. Can you play the first music?
पीन संगीत कर Dinita, 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 Dinita,
sure just like me you all are spellbound and you don't have anything to say how beautiful it was and how madhulita took us to those temples moving on our next performance is by gorika mathur disciple of shrimati madhulita mahopatra ji gorika mathur is a lawyer by profession and an odissi dancer by passion she's a disciple of shrimati madhulita ji from bangalore india she has established herself as a soloist and has performed in prestigious platforms which includes british army new scotland yard india house nehru center house of lords house of the parliament waltman's theater reading university and many more there's so many i'm so glad that we are fortunate to be watching her performance here it's very rare that our generation takes up indian classical as a profession and being in london promotes this dance form the way it is she has also been a part of few projects wherein dance has been used as a medium for therapy for her dance is like a therapy that rejuvenates you and heals you and helps you express your emotions she will be presenting one of her guru's choreography Braj Chubraj it's an odia abhinay it describes the beauty of braja's prince holding the flower given to her by krishna when she helped him cross the river in the absence of the boatman the gopi is immersed in her thoughts of krishna how the irresistible beauty of the young prince charming of braja has captivated all and his image is imprinted in her heart forever how he dances in countless bhanginis his deer like eyes are even sharper than the sword his vishwaroop 
and numerous other rupas of the slayer of the serpent Kaliya are the pure joys of everyone's eyes. It, the music is set in uh, Rag Gundakari and Tal Rupak. Music is composed by Sri Binod Bihari Pandaji and choreography is done by Madhuleta Ji. Presenting the next piece. Tarita 
Namaskar, I am Madhulita Mahapatra. I would like to give my heartiest thanks to Sanjay sir. Thank you so much for giving me, Gairika, Katrina and her students this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, Archana. Thank you all of you for coming. I know it's a weekday. Despite that, all of you came to encourage us. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'm going to present an Abhinaya. I know most of you who all are classical dancers, they must be understanding what is Abhinaya. Who all are not for them, I thought I will explain it in a very simple way so that you can understand what I am doing it. Abhinaya means storytelling. So I, I am going to tell one story. And when I perform, I want all of you to go through, go through with my journey what I am doing. So all of you must be knowing that who is Krishna, right? Krishna, Radha also you know. And I'm sure all of you must have felt once in a life in love, right? So, when we are in love, we are very positive, very, very. Okay, even men, even women, we all are very positive about our beloved. So here, Radha loves Krishna, you know. You know how love is. So Radha said to Krishna, we are going to meet, and she gave a point, meeting point, you have to come here. Then Krishna promised, okay, I'll come. And Radha came, search, Krishna didn't come. And then she is very heartbroken here, very disappointed, heartbroken. We know women, when we are heartbroken, first thing it comes out, we cry. <laughs> okay, and then she met her friend. Friend, we tell her Sakhi. So she's telling, oh my dear friend. Sakhi is asking what happened. She's very heartbroken and she's telling, you know, I told Krishna to come and meet me. She, she, she didn't come. He didn't come. You know why he didn't come? So a lot of wrong things in our, it, it comes in our mind. You know, okay, he must be with another woman. <laughs> That's why he didn't come. So this is what she's telling, she's explaining to Sakhi, you know, why Krishna didn't come? I'm sure there is a Yamuna river and she, he must be doing love and romance with another gopi. Gopi is the another woman here. And what he is doing, you know, he must be doing. So always we, she is imagining here. He must be doing that, he must be doing this. That's why he didn't turn out. So he's, she's telling, he must be decorating her hairs. Okay, so when we are doing, in, I'm, I'm presenting on Astapadi, I'll tell you. So we bring that analogy. Okay, so we compare to things also, how it is going to. And he must be decorating her face with the chandan. Okay, he must be telling her, oh, it definitely it is a mark on the moon. You know how you, how you flirt? So we tell all that poetic words. So Radha is imagining that Krishna must be doing to that lady. Okay, how he can do that? 
He cannot. He's supposed to be with me now. And then he must be decorating her hairs and he must be putting, decorating with the white flower. That flower is like in the, in the dark night, it's a lightning. Okay, how can he do that? He must be telling that gopi, another woman, oh, you do, don't, do not walk on the floor. I will collect some lotus flower for you, lotus leaf for you. You be there. Maybe I'll bring some leaves from the trees. Don't walk on the floor. You walk on the leaves. And then Gopi walks. And then he says, oh, your feet so beautiful. Let me decorate with the alta, red dye. And he's decorating. In between, he's telling, don't look at me. You look at that side. And he's writing Krishna, Krishna on the feet. And then the feet he's putting towards his chest. Radha is telling, see, look, he must be doing that with her. But that place is mine. How can you do that? I cannot take it at all. He's, he's very, very heartbroken and imagining all these things. Then he's telling, she's telling, he must be doing the rasa. You know, rasa means you have to do the swing and all. How can you do that? So... When you see my dance, so when you see a solo performance, so one person has to do multiple characters. So when you see the sad and heartbroken, this is Radha. When you see that, you know, uh, romance and love, that is Krishna and Gopi. You will be able to find out who is who. So then Radha says, you know, Sakhi, I'm uselessly waiting for him. Let me go. Ramate Yamuna Pulinavane. This, is, this beautiful composition is by my guru, Padmasri Srimati Aruna Mohanti. I'm presenting an Astapadi written by Jayadeva.
such a beautiful performance. I'm sure, just like me, you all were stunned. I'm sure you don't have anything to say. It's the beauty of Indian classical art form to connect to an audience sitting here in London, probably not aware of the kind of culture Indian classical comes from, but yet it's teaches us that the bhavas, the emotions, the mental psyche of a woman is standard for all across. It doesn't need a language. How beautifully Madhulita ji touched the different naikas, a woman in love and a woman in separation. So beautiful. Moving on from here, our next presentation is a Pallavi by Katrina Root and her student Ayushi Bose. Katrina is teaching Odyssey in Bhavans. She was trained in various dance styles as part of Odyssey. 